For over a thousand years, ports on the Coromandel coast facilitated constant movement of goods and migrations of people. Textiles were its main export along with religion. Since the 1500s, the Coromandel ports became important stops in world trade. The most coveted and expensive clothes were the painted textiles Kalamkaris. Machilipatnam in Andhra Pradesh had become a major port under the sultans of the Deccan and Kolkanda during the 15th and 19th centuries. Ships tried to make the most efficient use of the time and investments. Each ship went to several ports following the monsoon winds. They loaded textiles in Madras, Pulikat or Machilipatnam and bartered them for cloves, nutmeg and cardamom. Muslim merchants collected the textiles, sugar, indigo and the famed Kalamkari painted and dyed textiles from interior villages and brought them to Machilipatnam to trade to Southeast Asia, to Arabia, Turkey and North India. These were slowly displaced by the Europeans. The sultans of the Deccan used these prized kalamkaris as hangings and for tent interiors as well as for prayer mats and decoration. The 1700 and 1800s were the golden years for trade in kalamkaris. Chins, as it came to be called by the Europeans, was popular for dresses, bed covers, curtains and wall hangings. Ishwarado is a master craftsman known for the Kalamkari style of hand block printing using natural dyes. Hailing from Andhra Pradesh, he set up his own unit Ishwarado Kalamkari with a group of 32 artists which has expanded into a major unit today. of India block, Festival of India. One of the pieces we have done for Festival of India. Kunia Chakra. 
Trafetula of India, we are done in 1982. This piece was done in 1982, Trafetula of India. How many blocks are used in this? Many blocks. All uh, flowers are dissimilar. Each flower is different from one and each. You, you can find out all flowers are different. It's very difficult design for printing. Very difficult. To make this symmetry, we took a week time. The symmetry to palm, we took one week. This is gold painted too. What kind of gold is this paint? Gold paint. We mix powder, gold powder, uh, in some, you know, paint uh, uh, adhesives. We use paint adhesives. Center tree is painted. The supporting borders are printed. Center tree is My painted? My father has painted this. It's in the Kalahasti painting, Kalamkari It's type? like uh, Kalahasti. So it's a... This is called Tree of Life. So it's a combination between the Kalahasti paintings and... Yeah. Uh, this work? This is uh, one of the pieces in Victoria Art Park Museum, mm -hmm. uh, London. Sanjaya Tanava. Sanjaya Tanava. And what is the thing to do? This is the Sivai dancing, Brahma, Vishnu. Thousands of pieces. It's simple. Thing. I told them it's not possible in Kalamkari hand painting. It's not possible. Thousand pieces are not possible. Because one piece to paint it will take two months time. Thousand. No, no, you can uh, do it in screen painting. I don't. I won't do. That's something which is very embarrassing and very. Yeah, I, I won't do. See, I'm not here for money. The East India Company banned imports of Indian textiles in the early 1800s in order to protect its own growing textile mills. By the mid-1800s, during the Industrial Revolution, Europe had copied India's textiles on their mechanical looms and India's age of textiles fell into crisis. Kalamkari had almost fully died out in the 1920s but was revived in the 1940s. My father was a weaver and he has a taste of designing and he can draw the designs and uh, he can paint the designs. He has taste in textiles from which he searched for Kalamkari in 1968. Actually, we are weavers. He wanted to go for Kalamkari. At the time, Kalamkari was in dormant stage, almost in dying stage. So, he went and searched in Machilipatnam and was able to found a daughter called uh, Ramasavanayadu. So, this daughter helped in securing blocks from that craftsman, Balakotaya. And he, he took the blocks over to Porovaro and he doesn't know the technique of Kalamkari. He took help of one master craftsman called Anumabonda Venkatarangaya Naidu. Venkatarangaya Naidu. So he took that gentleman also over to Porovaro and he started with four tables initially. And then uh, gradually one table after another, one table after another. And he used to propagate Kalamkari 
by distributing pamphlets all over the country. I almost uh, in 1970s uh, there was Omi Baba scholarship given to Nelly Setna. Nelly Setna took this project Kalankari and she was here for two three months and brought out the designs in Kalankari and gave shape to the Kalankari by way of table covers, round tables, back covers, etc. And uh, we used to call the DJ, our designs as Nelly Setna designs. In mm -hmm. 1982, the government of India had a project called Vishwakarma. Mm -hmm. This is the one year. Mm -hmm. So, up to 1982, we used to do black, red, chocolate, yellow. Mm -hmm. And earlier, with the help of Guna we had for indigo wet, mm -hmm. we used to show blue and green. In addition to black, red, chocolate and yellow, mm -hmm. we used to show blue and green. Mm -hmm. First thing, dormant, and because of Kamala Chetopadhyaya, the society revived in Machini Patnam. Mm -hmm. See, now people are after money, making money using the uh, name Kalankari. Oh, it has taken many shapes, mm. many shapes, uh, and they are doing the way of doing, saying it is Kalamkari. So from down uh, the fire comes. So the fire comes uh, under the furnace. See, this is the furnace. From here the fire comes. It comes here. This, uh, under this vessel. It's copper vessel. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, inside uh, we pour water and uh, some color and the fabric we dip into it. Nearly one one hour for uh, one fabric. It takes for boiling. After that, again we wash it and we dry it. Total sixty meters of uh, cloth goes into the boiling. And those are coloring? Ah, these are color. Mm. This natural black. Okay, from? From? So from uh, Mirabalam and uh, black solution. I will show you the black solution inside. And here is anar. Say yellow. lovely. Yellow. Yellow color. It comes from uh, pomegranate shell. It will look as it has a dark yellow. After printing, it becomes a light yellow. The storage spots. And they are stored for many months? Or? It, it, it can be. Along with black solution, there will be mirabellum. It becomes more darker black. This is mirabellum mm. and if you mix with black solution we get more black, deep black. We ferment it for 21 days. So we get a black solution. That is a 70% black solution. Gumtree's bark. 
we get a brown solution from this. Say again. Sir. We crush the pomegranate shell. So we boil it uh, in the water to get yellow solution. Yellow. Come, till here, come. Solution, we mix uh, iron rust and uh, jaggery. So we ferment it here in this porcelain vessel. So after 21 days it turns into black. Now it is fermenting. So it is coming uh, like a milkshake. <laughs> after that we filter it. So filtered uh, black solution, that one. Don't like so much. This is mirabalum, mirabalum seed. Uh, we crush it into powder. We soak it for overnight in water and we strain it. After straining, we dip the fabric uh, in the water solution. This solution, the white fabric, it turns into yellow. It is like a tanning, tanning for the fabric. Grandfather's name is Nageshwar Rao. He is the founder of this uh, unit. 1960s, I think. This is a mudika flower. Uh -huh. Mudika flower means marigold. We get yellow, darkish yellow. This is chawal kodi. We get orange shades. Okay. Uh, in English, what sort of flower are they? I don't know. These root. Root. In English, I don't know. This is madam. Madam. This is This is orange. Okay. Natural only. Natural, okay. Mm. The mineral extract, both of them. That is 70% concentration, this is 100%. 100% we get madder orange. 100% uh, 70% we get red. Sir. It is uh, grown in forest. Uh -huh. How will you so get it them? It gives some tone to the fabric. This jaji leaves. Grandfather's day, Father's day, Father's day. But try to keep your dad's name. stays it has starch unless we remove the starch from the fabric we cannot develop any colors so what we do is we destarch it for destarching we dip the fabric in cow dung solution for overnight and wash it dry it after the drying is done then the same fabric is without starch this fabric is with starch, this fabric is without starch. So the fabric is soft now. For this we have to apply mirabalum. <coughs> the, this cloth in mirabalum solution, it turns into this. This mirabalum acts as tanning. Tanning to the fabric. Without mirabalum we cannot print any color on the fabric. So after this, in first stage of printing, there are three colors, iron hooks along with jaggery, we get black solution, iron hook along with jaggery we get black solution, black solution, we use alum, red colors, after this if we mix the black solution and alum together we get a chocolate color these are three main colors in the 
first stage of printing after that every every color has a gum in it unless we remove the gum from this fabric we cannot develop the colors in boiling so we go for washing in washing um, the gum removes after that you know, if we boil with the same fabric if we boil with algerin we get red tones to get red tones we boil with algerin there are few more colors to be filled that is green blue yellow grey pink the pink comes from algerin blue comes from indigo in every color there is gum after finishing printing finally the fabric goes to the washing so that is the process in nutshell Its popularity plunged in the 1980s but in the last 20 years it has again regained popularity and is sought after by designers for garments and sarees cushion covers bed spreads and table linen the art of block making making a set of blocks is tedious and precise work today only one family in peddanna makes these blocks for the kalamkari this set of five blocks is needed to do the design you can see on the cloth each block is for a different color the detailed block outlines the entire design usually in black Artisans in the villages around Machilipatnam, Peddanna, Pollavaram continue the manufacture of block printed kalamkaris.
Today, nearly the entire population of Pedinna is engaged in some aspect of kalamkari production. डिजाइन के ऊपर पैसे पहले डिजाइन के ऊपर पूरा डार्स करते रहते हैं जो पेपर पे डिजाइन है वो पूरा लकड़ी पे आ जाएगा थोड़ा दिखाइए हां वही सर अच्छा अरे टूल्स कौन बनाते हैं ये तो हम बना तू कितने दिन इसमें पांच दिन बिगाते हैं पांच दिन ओके उसके बाद इसमें क्या आयल में बिगाने से क्या होता वो लकड़ी लकड़ी डिजाइन आयल पी लेता आयल पीने के बाद पानी नहीं पी सकता पानी नहीं पी ये तो लकड़ी खराब नहीं होता कहा लकड़ी खराब नहीं होता ये ज़्यादा सर्विस करेगा कई बोल तो पानी पीने से लकड़ी खराब होता आयल पीने के बाद तो पानी नहीं पिएगा इसके वास्ते आयल में पाँच छः दिन 
इसको डूब के लगाते हैं फिर बाद में वो प्रिंटिंग में जाता है प्रिंटिंग में जाने के बाद तो पूरा रोज पानी में जाता उसका आयल रहता ना पानी नहीं पकड़ता सर्विस जा डिजाइन कभी कार्व करे आप लोगों ने कर कर लीजिए ये वर्ली कार वर्ली डिजाइन वर्ली वर्ली ये सिंगल कलर का सिंगल सिंगल वो लेकर सिंगल ये भी सिंगल कलर का ये दो कलर का ये भी कलमकारी पांच कलर का ये भी कलमकारी पांच कलर का Manufacturers have switched to screen printing and synthetic dyes to save labor, time, and costs. These textiles use kalamkari designs, but are not true kalamkaris, but mere imitations. Two years back, two years back, I started this uh, screen printing. Before that, totally I depend on hand print, hand block print production. Uh, now a little bit faster, faster production comes. Uh, so a little bit, uh, we increased our business also. शुक्लाधरम विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम छाए सर्वघ्नोपशा ओ शांति 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 Gurappa Chetty is an Indian painter, craftsman and writer known for his contributions for the revival of kalamkari. He is the recipient of several honors and awards. show that tradition doesn't have to be static it can evolve and it should evolve and it should meet the demands of of today's world
Gurupa is really the doyen and the master craftsman. Actually, he's an artist. I can't even call him a craftsman. He's an artist. And so many of the Kalamkari but artists are, they're, what they're doing is art. Because they're doing it on cloth doesn't mean it's not art. And um, we'll hear from Gurupa. What is the Kalamkari? Why I am saying intellect, English and intellectuals means they had given Kalam means pen, Kari means work, this is a conjoint word. What about the Machilipatna? They are writing with Kalam for that another name. That's called black printing. In our country, one great lady was, her name was Kamala Devi Chattopadhyaya. Bharat Nightingale. She had written so many poems. That is the one poem. But in my childhood, I read that one. But I told to my master ji, so that say, Bangil sellers are we who bear, our shining lord's temple fair, who will buy this delicate bright, rainbow tinted circle colors of light. That circle colors may be in our craft, the seven colors. In the British period, so many crafts died in our country. But uh, they have done a lot of things. For the bad, the good people to fight for their, our independence. Okay, that's one way. And then there is called uh, Sri Ramanavami. At the time they are decorating the, this um, old uh, temple and they are decorating the pieces and the temple walls also. After that, after independence, the, our uh, country in our country, one great lady, Tamala Devi, Pitopachaya. And uh, she was interested to revive so many crafts in our country. That's also after independent, we got the chance to revive the, uh, so many crafts. But in our craft, um, some system in our craft, that's also community system. Community system means, uh, brand means, um, I do not know what community. They are not interested to talk their things to the others. The community system, they are not interested to taught the class to other communities. So that's why so many class died in our country. I think maybe I do not know some historians. Now my age is 80. When I was 8 or 7 years, from those days I know what is the Kalamkari. And then I am observing this one from my 14th and 15th age. Because my father was working this one, and then after, uh, when my age is uh, 20, maybe I think, at the time, with the interest of Kamala Devi Chattopadhyaya, she started uh, this training, and the uh, government has uh, given that opportunity. In, in our craft, mostly we require the uh, mythological themes, epics. Ramayana, Bharatam, Bhagavatam, etc. From that, we want to take these stories and we want to write on this way. But with uh, my son, we composed a lot of things. But then, but um, in uh, marriage question, just like Mahamadans, how they are uh, treating to others, embracing and they are offering, like the Tatsarsu scheme, but now some photos are somewhere. In our country, the craftsmen, they do not uh, think about his, uh, my, I am great, I am, but uh, he only, he thinks about the God only. So that's why God is uh, for the term, composition, or creation, or the making the peace. So that's why he can't write on it. And 
But that to another people, I do not know what they are writing, but they are writing just like a MF Hussain, writing so many things. And so many artists they are writing, but I do not know my son is writing or I do not know. Huh? Now we are planning because just like when some of the people are coming, ah, Gurupa, Apka Maam is Kupar Liko, Oh, Mera Nai Gai Tegu Nai Liko. The challenge is faced today and the techno with all the technology you will be seeing all the new technology developments. Photo, when they are taking the photo, it will come only 20 or 200 cells it will come. But uh, artist, but there some hats may be like this, artist. And there some eyebrows and like that. But the photo is the same. No. And even the uh, uh, tracing, uh, the screening, maybe, but uh, one thing, maybe one pose, pose like this, the hundred pieces also like that. But uh, in actual writing, just take uh, in Nathalaja dance, how many poses in it that will come like that, but not in the screen printing. And another thing, in the Today is a Shivaratri. About Shivaratri, they are wasting the money for patakas and like that and thing. But uh, anywhere when Shiva's story displayed that story in any temple? No. Why? It's not easy to them. When they are doing like that, it is encouraging to the craft persons. Even not only for that, but um, the, the bullocks, the, the, and the bullocks, they can cover in our district uh, more than 220 temples in our district. 220 temples. Every temple has captured at least 10 meters of Mahabharatam. Our people can get the work for the 100 members for the ten years. Right? They are not doing like that. That is the... So... Textiles of Kalahasti in Andhra Pradesh. Kalamkaris of Kalahasti are hand painted with the Kalam. Kalahasti is also famous for its designs interpreting the legends and narratives of Hindu deities. It's mainly the artists who have kept the traditions alive and are innovating in the field of Kalamkari and natural dyes. Actually, I started this uh, craft to learn this craft at the age of uh, 10 when I was at the school around the uh, 7th standard. So that time I used to help to my father to treat the cloth in milk and marabala and to do some little uh, mixing the colors like that. So that's what we learned from home only. So I went to college in the afternoon morning and by the afternoons I am working with uh, my father. So that's what I learned, complete techniques and uh, the, uh, what do you call that, images, figures, how to do the figures like that. See, father told me, there are many engineers are there, many doctors are there, but why don't you seriously engage in our craft, to bring the craft, you should learn the craft, you should practice this. So that words inspired me. 
Oh, I thought I have a thought. Why don't we bring back the tradition, the real uh, Kalamkari? Um, actually, I saw in Mumbai my father's friend, Homi Setana. He gave me one book. It has chinks. That time I was uh, around uh, 18 years old. So that was that book was inspired me very lot. I saw that uh, natural colors they done with the chinks, very minute uh, lines. They given uh, many more colors in that. So since that time I was seriously in, uh, involved in this. And in uh, 2006 I went to I had been to London, UK. There I went to Vienna Museum and I saw my grandfather's paintings and great other paintings. And by the same time I saw many chins are there. So by that time I started to revive these uh, chins. The chins in uh, 13th to 14th century we used to export from India to European countries. Those chins. When the Dutch people came here and they they give given their designs and uh, they take our techniques. Actually we didn't change the techniques. Without changing the techniques, we added their motives and mixed with the Indian tradition. So that's what we improved that uh, chains. Those were very famous in uh, 70, up to till 17th century. So totally it was uh, disappeared in uh, 19th century. So just a uh, few 10 years back I developed this craft and again this craft means it's a chains. So now it became very popular links. There is a lot of demand for that uh, chains. You can get in uh, London and the uh, US and France, there are people out there who can buy the chains. And they use for Yeah, they can use for, uh, many people are using for wall hangings and very few people they can afford to use that uh, dresses like that. Yeah. See, nowadays what happened, in uh, before 15 years also it was, there was very great demand for that Kalamkari hand paintings. Actually this, uh, they took this opportunity, the middleman who is doing the businessman, they started to do the screen printings. Just they are copying our uh, traditional motifs, Kalamkari motifs. They are making some screens and uh, they are printing large quantities. See, suppose we had to do one uh, Kalamkari painting and Dupatta, some store. It will take us to draw the lines, it will take more than 3 days. To fill the colors, it will take another 7 days. So totally it will take uh, 10 to 15 days to complete one uh, store. Now people, what they are doing, they are printing per day more than uh, 20 Dupattas. They are preparing more than 20 Dupattas per one person. So like this there became a lot of demand and uh, by the same time the quality they became the very low quality and they are selling very cheap like that. So we are facing these problems, just we are uh, trying to solve these problems to take the copyrights of our uh, designs. So each and every, what my suggestion to our Kalamkari craft people, you should not do the Kalamkari painting on any paper, any like this. If you done some paintings on that, you just you can take the paint and rice for that. This is the way we can uh, protect this without uh, having this uh, going for uh, screen prints like this. Our ancients, uh, they given us a uh, lot of information on that. Based on that only, we are doing our uh, local arts. So, but only we have that, uh, our elders, they given the techniques. But techniques, my father uh, written a book on that. Before that, we don't have any book on like that. So whatever our ancient they given that, we are following that once. So now I am also trying to do get one book in uh, English, complete history and the process, everything like that. Since inception to now what we are uh, facing that. Process. 
ट्रेडिशनल बीमारे to do the Ramayana Bharata stories. They read the text and they converted the text into the figures like that. See, these are the temple hangings. These hangings they can hang in the temples and people who can come for the darshan, they can know the real story of the God like that. See, after that, my father and my, we created some new stories. I mean, actually we have one friend in, uh, he called Bickelman, he's from Germany. He given us that Old Testament Bible. Just we read that, and after that we done the Jesus, Jesus Christ story, and uh, we done that Buddha story also. And later my father is he's doing some uh, Jataka stories and uh, village stories, local village games. So these are the new things what we are doing now. See, it was uh, mostly connected with the temple art. So each and in our state or in any place in India, each and every state, every village, there is some uh, temples are there. Some Rama temple will be there, Krishna temple will be there, Shiva temple will be there. Once they saw the pictures, they can understand the story easily. It's a storytelling uh, craft. But people are surviving. But maybe, see, last uh, 10, 10, 10 years back, we have only around uh, 200 people are there. 200 to 300 people are there who can work real Kalankari. 
Now there are more than 3,000 people are there who is working that uh, imitation Kalamkaris. So that livelihood they are getting money but at the same time they are killing the craft. This we have to work out with some organizations who is working like this or other Shinchitra. Some organizations are there. They have to take uh, steps to preserve the craft and to improve the skills like this.